Alrighty guys, we're here with Matt Stanley. Uh, I met Matt uh, at the gym, Nathaniel and I met him about a few months ago. All of a sudden he came on our Utah retreat and ever since, like in a short amount of time, feels like a best friend. Yeah, yeah. no doubt about that. <laughs> and uh, he's here, he lives in our same hometown as us and you're going to be coming to Big Sur with us on April 9th, huh? Yeah. Um... Super stoked. Uh, I've been wanting to go to California all my life and uh, just see what, you know, see what's up out there. And I know I've, I've heard it's epic and especially heard awesome things about Big Sur. And I'm just so, I feel so blessed, man, to, to have these kind of opportunities and to do these kind of things with you guys. It's just, it's awesome. All right. And I thought a fun, a fun idea for this video, just to mix it up a little bit, would be to ask Matt five questions. Uh, kind of rapid fire style, and I actually have no plan. He had, obviously has no answers planned. So uh, let's see. Um, ah, um, who do you like? Who do you think? If you had to, <laughs> okay, this is going start. If you had to spend uh, the rest of your life with one of the Rob Ross, who would it be? <laughs> Remember rapid fire? Probably you. Wow, really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, how can how can you say not how can you not say me after that um, introduction, huh? Exactly. Okay, well, yeah. I'll take him for his word. A part of me, probably my insecure part, wants me to like question him. Be like, are you just trying to be nice to me, or is it because I'm here? If Daniel was asking me this, would you say Daniel? Um, all right. So, second question: um, <laughs> Is your heart beating at all? No. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you why that is. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like that you and I, since the beginning, like just had a special like connection. You know, like there was just something different about. And we we probably have spent more time together than any of the three brothers. Like just you and I. You know. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, man. Like, you know, when you sent me that text when I was really on the fence about going on the retreat, and you sent me that text and just said, "Man, I I don't." Whether you go on the retreat or not, I'm just glad that God brought you into my life and that we're friends. You know, like that meant a lot to me and like that's something I'll never forget. And I feel like from that point on, there's just been like a real strong, you know, bond, like brotherly bond between mm -hmm. us and it's, it's cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, number two question. Uh, when's the last time you kissed a girl? Uh, well, as far as like, I, I don't kiss my mother on the lips, but like I kiss my mother every time I see her. Uh, honestly, I don't remember. It's been, it's, it's honestly been a pretty good while since I've kissed a girl. Probably, probably close to six months. Do you think you've forgotten how to kiss? Oh, no. Okay, that's good. That was one of the questions, but... I'm, 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 <laughs> I've been told I'm a pretty good kisser, so I don't think he's just kind of like riding a bike, you know? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, third question. <laughs> I like riding a bike. It's funny. Um, uh, third question. Come on. Um, what extreme sport would you most want to do before you, before you leave the surf? Surf. Surf. Okay. Yeah. All right. Question number four. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what's the part of your body that you're most insecure about? My ears. Your ears? Yeah. What's wrong with your ears? <laughs> they, I, I think they stick out. They don't, like, they used to really bad when I was a kid, like, really, really bad. And I don't mind showing this, but, like, I actually developed a technique to, like, pull my ears back. Um, like, and I showed these guys this on the retreat, and I'm doing it now just so I'll get, I want to become not insecure about my ears, like, I just let, just love them for what they are, and, uh, but anyway, I can take my ears and, like, pull them back with my face muscles, so, like, I remember when you showed me that. that yeah, and everybody was kind of shocked, but, like, I do that in pictures and stuff, like, I'll hold them in that position, and, like, even to the point where, like, my face gets kind of sore. Uh, just because I'm, I'm insecure about them, so. Alright, and for the final, number five question. Um, I thought we were doing ten questions. No, I, 
and I, I said that initially, but then I changed it when the video came out. Okay. That's how improv this was. Uh, number five. If you had um, uh, in the next month, what do you hope or pray that happens in your life? Are you, is there anything that you're hoping or praying about that happens in the next month of your life? In the next month, I can't, I don't know about that short of a time frame, like if there's anything specific. And of course, I'm playing it in my mind, like thinking about what, you know, I'm probably being over analytical about that. Um, I want to play one of my original songs that I write the music to in front of a large crowd. Like I want to I wanna do that. I want to perform one of my original songs in front of a large crowd. Within the next year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That, that would be really exciting. Yeah. All right, Matt. Well, uh, thanks for the five questions. We'll keep this video short and sweet. Yep. Uh, we'll see you in Big Surf for our next retreat. We still have some spots left, by the way. So email Yes, us. yes. If you want to go on a retreat, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me because it will change your life. You'll never be the same. And I would love to talk to you about my experience. So... Yeah. All right, man. Rob Ross for life. Thanks. I don't know why I did this. What is this? Isn't this like the sign That's of the devil? The devil, bro. Yeah, you gotta I'm sorry. Get you gotta get devil it. down. Devil stinks. <laughs> How did <laughs> <it> God? <laughs> I <laughs> took a horns, but no. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, and by the way, Matt is a recipient of one of the scholarships that were given out. One of the ten scholarships. He took a huge financial. Why don't you tell him about that? How you? came on the retreat, the first retreat, your financial situation? Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much I didn't, I really didn't have the finances to, to go on the retreat, um, but it, I knew it was something that I, that I needed to do, and I knew I had the desire, that I feel like God had given me the desire to do, um, and so I just prayed about it, and just, you know, tried to go with my heart, you know, like you guys talk about so much, and um, I put down the deposit and literally within uh, a matter of days um, I received a, you know, a, enough of a financial blessing from a, a close family member of mine to be able to afford the flights and, and that kind of thing. So, you know, I mean, I'm still, you know, having to pay on the retreat and everything, but I, I cannot stress enough that I will never be able to quantify the return that I've received on this investment like ever in this life. I'll never be able to. That's uh, it's really quite the honor to hear. Um, yeah, and he just added so much value to our last retreat and uh, he loved it so much and we loved having them so much that we couldn't help it. Like, man, here's the here's one of the scholarships coming big sir with us. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, super stoked about that. And uh, just wanted to say I'm, I get overwhelmed sometimes, like just with, being a part of the Rob Bras and getting to be on those retreats, I was just telling Timothy, like if I had if I had, had a year to plan out how I wanted to travel, who I wanted to travel with, what I would want to do when I got there, I could not have planned it any better than what has happened to me over these last three months. Like going to Utah and now going to Big Sur, um, it's just incredible. God is good and I'm just so feel so blessed to be a part of what's going on with these guys and you can too just do it yeah and it's funny he's actually um, we're talking about and he has started working with us mm -hmm. a little bit and uh, that's the thing like our what we're doing here is growing and if you think that you uh, your passions align with ours and that there might be room for you to potentially work with us so uh, definitely fill out one of the scholarships uh, I think we have uh, just a few more left We'll put the link in the uh, information below. And yeah, send in your application. Wow. See ya.